Yeah, good morning YouTube. Looks like uh, we've got a package here from Amazon Prime. Let's see what's inside here. Here is a Raspberry Pi Model B+. Plus. This is the Raspberry Pi, the new Model B+. Plus. Sorry about the fingers, I got polyurethane construction adhesive all over and there's nothing that takes that off short of wait until your skin wears away. You've got four USB ports, there's a 100 megabit Ethernet port, that's a HDMI out, and then also an analog audio and video. You've got the little micro USB power plug, I think there's a display adapter, there's your GPIO plugs, and then, oh, there's the uh, micro SD card slot, and that's what these are. A couple of SanDisk. I got the uh, bought two of them. I'm gonna I figure I'll have one to play with and one to uh, kind of use as a working system. So this little card plugs in down here, and that's your basically your operating system. 16 gigabyte. I don't think I need that large, but I figure I might as well get a larger one so I can add lots of uh, updates and these are supposed to be pretty good for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, one of the issues is since this is essentially the hard disk for uh, this little computer on a board you know that's going to be read and written to a lot. These uh, SD cards are supposed to have what they call wear leveling so they uh, they shift the read and written data around the whole uh, 16 gigs of memory you know to equalize the wear so instead of having just one file on here that gets read and written or written to a lot uh, that location and memory can wear out so these are supposed to be pretty good for that. I've got some, see these are, yeah, so this is the micro USB cable. I've got a couple, a couple of those. So this is the micro USB that plugs in here. This is basically your power cable. This runs off of uh, your 5 volt USB power. And it looks like we have a wireless USB adapter, Wi-Fi 11B, G, and N. And this one is pretty tiny. Wi-Fi adapter. That's that one. Need help. Got a little manual, a little mini CD there, it looks like. And what else did we get here? We got a Flerk. So this is a infrared Flerk.tv. It's an infrared dongle, USB dongle you can plug in. It's a receiver for remotes and you can train it to uh, learn any remote control signals. So I picked this up. Not sure if I actually will need this or not, but uh, I was going to possibly use this with a project. And then this, also from Flerk is a, let's say on the front here, it's a Raspberry Pi case. And as you saw in the previous video, I picked up a Raspberry Pi. And I like this case because it's it's all metal. Looks pretty nice. It doesn't have the greatest uh, accessibility for, you can get your GPIO cable out the side here with a ribbon cable. I don't have any need for that, but the the camera and monitor uh, display access you'd have to actually cut a, a hole in there, but I don't plan on using that. I just wanted a small little case. You've got your HDMI, your USB power connection, and then you've got your Ethernet and possibly Wi-Fi plugged in there. Maybe an infrared receiver plugged in there. 
the nice thing about this, this is a heat sink right over the processor on the Raspberry Pi and they've got a little heat pad there so I think I'll try to assemble this and you've got this nice uh, metal heat sink for your Raspberry Pi in a nice case and it's I think it looks pretty good so anyway let's see what this other one is it's a RII mini keyboard just keeping with the miniature theme here today it's kind of a nice little unit so you've got a mini keyboard you've got a, a trackpad uh, it's a full keyboard and you can also um, flip it and I think you hit the FN key and you can then use it as a more like a remote so you can use it both like this as a remote and you can use it uh, as a keyboard and then this is the charging it's uh, wireless so you recharge it off of a looks like a USB mini connection and then it is supposed to have a wireless dongle so this is not an infrared keyboard it's wireless so if your uh, device is like hidden behind a TV or buried someplace that you can't get a re infrared remote to then this guy will work so I kind of picked up a couple of devices here plan on using this with the Raspberry Pi probably plug this uh, USB in there but there is essentially a computer 850 megahertz processor has the uh, HDMI port you use your TV for a monitor and there's your keyboard and mouse you've got wireless plug in your uh, wireless Ethernet and you've got a fully functional PC but I hope to do something a little bit different I'm, I'll probably use this I may use the wireless I want to try it out you know I've got the uh, wired Ethernet I may also try the wireless Ethernet and see if there's any uh, difference It'd be nice if you could run wireless because that's just one less cable to have plugged in so I will uh, take a look at those and see how they work.